Hey readers, it's Mrs. Palin, the librarian. This weekend I read a book by um, Jamie Sumner called Tune It Out. Jamie Summer, Sumner was the one that wrote Roll With It as well. I was intrigued with this one. It is also on the New Hampshire Great Stone Face list for the school year 22-23. So I'm getting ahead of myself by reading this now. That's good. Stay on top of things. Um, Tune It Out is the story of Lou who has a beautiful singing voice and her mother takes her to all these fairs and competitions and karaoke nights hoping that Lou will hit it big and be famous and make their life much easier. Their life is very difficult right now because of this lifestyle. They are homeless, um, not in a very good place at all. The biggest problem with this whole thing for Lou, as much as she adores her mother, her mother puts her through things that she is not comfortable with. Um, Lou suffers from a disorder um, where she does not process senses in the right way. She does not like noise, loud noises. She doesn't like anybody touching her. And so her mother, understands that but does not respect that um, and forces Lou to do all these things um, that she's uncomfortable with. Fast forward a little bit, um, there's an accident and Lou is taken away from her mother by Child Protective Services for a little while. She goes to live with an aunt and uncle and there she discovers what life can be like with people that understand her disorder, with a school, with friends that can like her for who she is, with a normal, safe life. Um, it was a lovely story. Um, I adored Lou. I adored her um, best friend that she discovered in school, Maxwell. I also loved the characters of the aunt and uncle, their willingness to, to, to take her in, to understand her. Um, it, I enjoyed it very much. Totally appropriate for um, a K-5 library, which is what I run, and um, a very good addition to the Great Stone Face list. Uh, I was just gonna say something else, I forget. That's all right. Tune it out by Jamie Sumner. Read it. Whatever you're reading, keep reading.